Water levels are rising, so steps are being taken to avoid major flooding on the Fraser River. The Fraser Basin Council has joined with over 20 municipalities to formulate a strategy. Step one, a comprehensive study identifying the risks, and by 2016, a game plan for action. The move comes after a recent report found just one of 15 dikes on the Fraser up to standard. To avoid not only significant economic losses, but to avoid significant psychological trauma associated with the fact that people may have to leave their homes. They may not be able to get transportation when they need it. They may not be able to communicate. So all these things are really, really important. So it's not just an economic issue. The study found widespread flooding on the Fraser could impact more than 2 million people in our region, costing the economy $50 billion.